Hi, it's John. It's the 10th of March and I've been pruning my cherry bushes. So I've cut the tops off where the growth is going on. And these to me look like fruiting buds. So there's tons of fruiting buds on, on this tree. This is a stellar, been in about three years. So we may get a lot of cherries this year. I've got two more trees down, down the allotment. And I've cut the tops out as well. Um, still quite high, about uh, nine feet high, so it'd be quite difficult to get some of these cherries. Now what's inspired this video is I did a video of this area, <laughs> I've done the allotment now, in December 2015 and I called it unseasonable weather. And so that was just over a year ago. And the trees, since then, these trees have grown fantastically, these cherry trees. Um, I have to keep them down to two metres high on the allotment here. So I've cut the tops out, which what didn't look to me like fruiting wood. It looked just like growth. So I've let them grow out sideways. I haven't cut them too back on the side. So I don't mind if they cover the whole area because this is a bit, a bit heavy to garden up here. So the one on the end there is cherry tree and then in the middle is a, an apple tree, um, John Gold and then another cherry tree <coughs> here which I've had to tr prune even more. Uh, but the tops, you can see the fruiting buds on the top. I mean, there could be masses of cherries. I think we might have to share them with the birds. And another thing which impressed me about the tree was the way that the trunk has grown. I got this from home base. And I kept tripping over it because I've planted them on an angle so as they um, you know, they spread a bit sideways. I kept tripping over it and I wondered whether I was going to damage it so much, but it's really, really grown. And that trunk now is about over three inches diameter. So, um, mustn't count my cherries before they're hatched, but I think we might have a lot of cherries this year. <laughs> 